What are values? Well, as you just experienced, identifying and understanding your values is a challenging and important exercise. See, values compress experience into ideas about what is good, what is not. Those ideas guide how we act and how we expect others to act. For example, Instead of calculating whether to go to work or attend a child's sporting event, someone might adopt the default value of family. See, values are knowledge about what works in general. They describe what we want to see in the world and how we should behave. Because, let's be honest, people grow up in different families with different backgrounds and experiences. Personal values differ from one person to the next and develop when we are young inexperienced, and reflect on how, when, and where we were raised. You see, a younger person might rank excitement and fun over safety. Later in life, those values may shift in a completely different direction. See, but the older we get, the harder it is to shift those deep-seated values, even when they are no longer appropriate or relevant. However, we do have the capacity of conscious self-correction meaning that our values are never entirely finalized. We can learn new values from stories we read, things we watch, life experiences, and important people in our lives. And shared experiences can lead to common values, which are more likely for people from the same family, religion, education, and community. Yet the same values can look different when practiced by different cultures, communities, and groups. For instance, some cultures were black to funerals, and in others, mourners were white. Now, both cultures share the same value, respect for the dead, but the actions guided by that value is different. You see, values guide us, not just in action, but also in planning and goal setting. Our goals, plans, decisions, etc., they're all justified by our values. Values provide both conscious and unconscious guidelines for the goals that we pursue, how we pursue them, our perception of reality, and the ways we engage in the world. Because values are used for decisions, it is often in decision making, and especially for hard choices, values are redefined, reprioritized, and, and updated. As we learn about values, values thinking, you have the chance to reflect on your own values and to work to understand the values of others. In the next section, we're gonna switch gears and now start to uncover the concept and practice of values thinking.